Wow, that's actually a pretty good product. I might stop the video here. This is awkward. I swear to you, I have not done research on this product before, but this genuinely looks like a 50, 60,000 pound a month product. This is mad. I, I, I'm still in shock. Okay. How did we find our first Amazon product? That is what I want to tell you about in this video. And you'll be surprised, I didn't use a single tool. We didn't use any of those tools, AMZ Scout, Jungle Scout, Helium 10, they didn't even exist. We didn't use any of that stuff and you don't need to use that stuff and that's what I'm gonna tell you in this video. I'm gonna actually save you a ton of money because all these tools cost, I don't know, $100 a month, $200 a month, what is it now, right? It's crazy and we didn't use any of them and that's what I'm gonna tell you in this video. So before we get started, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, just do one of the two and uh, leave a comment down below if you're actually using a tool, right? Because I'm, I'm interested to know because in this video I'm gonna actually tell you the problem with using a tool um, that the current p current generation are doing, right? I mean, I'm part of the current generation, but the, the current Amazon sellers, people who use a tool, are actually missing the bigger picture there. So this is all part of my 100 day content challenge. I hope you're loving it so far. I don't know what day I'm on, it will pop up somewhere. I've done videos before, I've got another, I don't know, like 170, 80 days of videos left. I hope you're enjoying it, this is the intro. And um, yeah, let's get right into the video. So I've got my screen recording here. Uh, let me just turn it on, because uh, I'm actually gonna show you what we did, right? But I'm just gonna give you a little background into what what I'm talking about, really. So we started an Amazon business, I don't remember how many years ago it was, maybe four, four and a half, five years ago, I don't remember. But just putting it simply, nothing existed. No tools, nothing. What we did is we bought our first course. That course cost us, I think it was $3,988 or $4,000, let's just round it up. I think it was about that. $4,000 for a course. We emptied our bank account on this course. And if you're thinking, do I need to spend $4,000 on a course? You do not. Let's just skip past that. You don't need to do that, right? I'm just telling you what we did, okay? We emptied our bank account into this. So even if we wanted to buy a tool, we couldn't have afforded one. So we then had to go and do the research manually and this is what we did. We would go into Amazon, right, and we would try and find bestsellers, we would look at the reviews, we would look at the demand, we would look at all of that sort of stuff. What you have nowadays with most, I'm going to go into that bit more by the way, what you have nowadays with most Amazon sellers is they rely fully on a tool like Jungle like Jungle Scout or AMZ Scout or any of them, okay? They rely fully on a tool and it's a big mistake because you're relying on a machine or an algorithm or software to find a profitable product for you, okay? And then for you to make money from that product, come on, this is ridiculous now, right? You would never trust your money in that, okay? That doesn't make sense. You're gonna go and buy thousands and thousands and thousands of items worth of stock because a tool has told you it got a score out of 10 and you think, oh, it got an eight out of 10. Um, this must be worth millions. No, don't don't believe that, right? You have to do the research yourself. You have to know exactly what the tool is doing, right? How, ask yourself, how many of you know what the tool is actually doing in Amazon, right? You can do it all manually, right? When you go and search Amazon, you can look at the demand, you can look at the competition, you can look at the reviews, you can look at the product page, you can do everything the tool is doing and make a decision based on that information, rather than just input a niche in, click enter, and then they see a thousand products and be like, oh, this one has a, an eight out of 10 and it's got a good price and I'm gonna go and source it. Because if you do that, you'll probably find that a lot of the time you're gonna waste your money on dead products, don't work. Because also, you have to bear in mind, everyone is using this tool and everyone is finding the exact same products. Okay, so it doesn't make sense. So you, you've gotta know what you're getting yourself into. You've gotta know what the tool is doing. Once you fully know how to do product research yourself and how, how it all works, then by all means, use a tool to get some ideas so you know what niche to look in, right? But never fully rely on a tool. Okay, and if you're just starting out, you don't want to spend any money, then this is how you can do it. Right, so just before I tell, I'm about to do it now, I'm about to go in and show you, but just before I, I, I do that, you know the, 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 this is going to be more time consuming for you, okay? I'm going to just put that out, I'm going to be honest, with a tool, you find products much, much quicker, okay? This is going to be a lot more time consuming, however, it takes away a lot of the risk, which 
and it drastically increases the reward. So this might sound weird, but the normal saying is the higher the risk, the higher the reward, right? That's, you probably heard that before. However, that is not the case here. The case here is the lower the risk because you are seeing exactly what's going on, the higher the reward because you see exactly what's going on. You're gonna find a product that's gonna do so much better than if you just go and find a tool. If you do it through a tool, you've got a much higher risk and a much, much lower chance of reward there because chances are it's going to tank, it's gonna fail. So without further ado, let me just get my laptop here. Let me just uh, go through it. So firstly, we wanna try and find best sellers on Amazon, right? Because we wanna get an idea what the best sellers are. So we do a minus and then a bunch of letters don't ask, this is just how you do it. And then this will lead you to all the bestsellers, as you can see, bestseller, bestseller, right, bestseller. So, at the moment, all of this stuff is, you don't, you don't wanna sell any of this stuff. Oh, by the way, Seaman, this show is incredible. You should go and watch it. It's the new, like, grand tour, it's brilliant. Whatever, I'm getting distracted here. So you wanna pick a department, okay? So we go on the left here, and let's say sports and outdoors, okay? And now we can kind of see what the best sellers are in sports and outdoors. So obviously we're not gonna be selling Fitbits, okay? Um, an electric blanket, resistant bands, that's something we can sell. Um, a head torch is something we can sell. A posture corrector, I need one of those. A posture corrector is something we can sell, okay? So we're getting some ideas here, okay? A bike light is something we can sell. So let's say posture corrector, let's take that one, okay? So this looks interesting, so what we would then do is, we would search, go into everything, and search posture corrector, okay? And this is very interesting, this is another way of doing research manually. When we search posture, we see what comes up, posture corrector, posture corrector for men, for women, posture brace, posture support. All of these are keywords that you could eventually use when selling your product, and a way to tell how popular a product is, is you search for the product slowly, okay? So, PO, nothing about posture protector. POS, posture corrector. You search POS into Amazon and the third thing comes up is posture corrector and then the sixth thing is posture corrector for men and then all the way down is posture corrector for women. So this looks like it's going to be quite popular. So let's have a look. Okay, again, I'm not using any tools here. Um, if a tool pops up, I will exit out because I don't want to use any tools here. We can see. Wow, that's actually a pretty good product. I might stop the video here. Um, this is awkward. I swear to you, I have not done research on this product before, but this genuinely looks like a 50, 60,000 pound a month product. Okay, so let's just go through it, okay? This is mad. I, I, I'm still in shock. Okay, whatever. This is really cool. You don't have to believe me. You can think I've planned this, but I swear I haven't planned this. This is all off the cuff. Um, I wish this video was live, it'd be so much better. But anyway, um, you've got, let's have a look. You've got reviews. You've got 249 reviews, 573 reviews, 224 reviews, 100 reviews, 86 reviews, 247, again, 140, 49. This one's got quite a lot of 3,000 reviews, 111. 18 reviews on the first page, selling for the most, or 13.99. That's, this is the highest price one. This is insane. Okay, so in terms of competition, that was a big beep. There is no competition here, okay? You can easily, easily sort this competition out, okay? You can you can destroy the competition. In terms of getting a bestseller, you can get a bestseller in about a day using bestseller techniques going into a specific category. In fact, one of the earlier videos that I've done for this 100 day content challenge is how to be, get a bestseller really easily. But, so, now we need to look at the demand. Well, this is how we did it. We would go into the top 20 products I know, it's time consuming. I did tell you it was time consuming. Let's just, I'm gonna just speed up the video here. Okay, we've opened the top 10 products. So we're gonna look at those products individually, okay? And now, like I said, no tool is going to give you this information. This is information you are figuring out yourself, right? Now, the tool will tell you the BSR and all these things quicker, and this is what we're gonna do is we're going to look into the BSR, but this is for people who don't want to spend money on a tool. This is if you want to look into a product. So firstly, just from this page, we can see they've got a great listing. This, this could be hard, they've got a really good listing, but we can compete with that, that's not an issue. Their BSR, let's scroll down, and their BSR is 226 in health and personal care. That's brilliant. That is, ah, oh, that's phenomenal. And two in back braces, okay? That's why they don't have a bestseller. 
Right, here is a bestseller, number one bestseller. They are number one in back braces and 44 in health and personal care. Okay, this is great. Uh, is this the same one? Uh, I don't know. Different woman, different guy. No, it's a different brace. Okay. Um, also not a bestseller. Right, let's go down and see. They are 814 in health and personal care. I feel like it could be the same make though. Yeah, same make. That company is killing it. Well done. Okay, you got another bestseller here. $20, 20 pounds it's being sold at, the highest. Sorry that this is all in pounds. I'm just from the UK here. It's the same in America. It's the same concepts. When we first found our first product, when we, when we found our first product, just to let you know, we did all of this in America, on the America, like Amazon.com. Same concept. 927 health and personal care and number one in next supports. They went to next supports to get their bestseller. They know what they're doing. Okay. So far, this is brilliant. You want the BSR to be under 1,500, okay? And if it's under 1,000, brilliant. Right, 86 ratings. Uh, this is going to be over 1,000, surely. Uh, no, 354 in sports and outdoors. Oh, my gosh. This is such a good product. Um, what else? What's this one? 381. All right, so... This is, okay, this is 1,141, our first one over 1,000. Still brilliant, okay? 1399, what are they? 1,965, okay, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit higher now, but again, it's still okay. Um, 807, back down to 807. Lovely, okay, let's have a look at this one. 15 pounds, it's good profit margins on that, I'm sure of it. 2,342, this is, this is brilliant. Okay, so now we have covered the reviews, we've covered the demand. We now want to go into see if there are more keywords. So we wanna look into everyone's listings, look at keywords, look at people's ratings, right? See what people are doing wrong. Go to the one stars, because everyone has one stars, and see what they're getting one stars for, and now you know how you can make your product better. Look at the questions they're getting, right? See what people are asking for, see what they don't have, and see how you can make yours better, okay? And like I said before, you can put in little bits here. So posture, right? Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten keywords that we can use, ten. Ten popular keywords as well. And you can do this even further by going to the Google Keyword Planner tool, which is, again, what we would do next and put this in. And then once we've done that, we would go to Alibaba, okay? And again, you can see how manual this is, right? I don't need to know if one of them is making 30,000 in revenue per month. I don't need to know if one is getting 6,000 sales per month because most of those numbers are made up anyway. They're not like, I'm not trying to be pessimistic about all these tools. These tools are useful to get a bit of advice. Like I would use that tool to find out the BSRs of these products like that, because I just don't have time, okay? But I wouldn't use the tools to decide on it fully. So I would look at these products and look, okay, all of these products have very good titles. So these people clearly know what they're doing. You can see they know what they're doing on Amazon. So this is going to be hard to compete with. And all of these people seem to have good listings. However, one thing I'm noticing with all these products is you've got a man and you've got a woman and every single listing looks exactly the same. It's boring. It's so boring. You can be different. And look at these people. I think they give some sort of resistant band and and something else, they give bonuses. This is awesome, right? You get a sports snug slouch, spine corrector trainer, free resistant bands. Brilliant, these people know what they're doing. They should be charging 12, 15, 4, 16, 20 pounds for their product right now. Okay, so that's another thing. You want to make sure the product can be paired with something else. And something like a back trainer can be paired with um, a video course showing you how to get a stronger back, how to work on your posture, how to do some sort of like exercises, you know, like, you know, exercises for your back. That's one thing. You can offer resistant bands. You can offer pouches. You can offer, um, well, you've got the back support, obviously, but there's so many things you can offer to add value to your product without it really costing you anything extra. And then you can stand apart from everyone else doing it on Amazon, right? And that is how you're going to get yourself to the top. Right, on Alibaba, let's just have a look at posture corrector. Uh, posture corrector. $2.70. Gosh, why is everyone wearing orange? What is it with the orange and the blue? Like, all these people, oh, it's not the orange and the blue, just the orange. People are loving the orange. I guess it stands out. But then again, so does green. Bright green stands out as well. $1.58, $2, $3.22, $1, that's a 
legit one. Wow, $7.80, $1.94, bam, you got one right here. Okay, that's how much it's gonna cost you. Now, I would probably try and sell this at about 15 to 20 pounds, and I would increase my margins I would increase my value by offering something else. So I would go and speak to a personal trainer and for three hours I'd hire them, shoot a little uh, course and then offer that. Easy, okay? This $1.98 for this one. This is brilliant. Okay, so this is what we would do for product research. Obviously we would go into a lot more detail in this like, course. We would put a lot more detail into this because we're spending money. We want to make sure we're going to like 100% or not 100% but get money back okay so we want to really hone in on this entire niche this entire brand this is everything about this we want to know everything there is to know about um what is it i don't remember what it's called um back uh posture correctors we want to know everything about posture correctors okay so once we feel like we know everything there is to know about posture correctors and once we found the good prices we've worked out all the margins we can then go in and start selling it okay and then we do advertising and all that sort of stuff comes later but you can be sure that you are going to know 10 times the amount of information that you would know if um, by doing it this way than if you just did it with a tool and it's going to save you a lot of money it will take longer in time however you don't want to get this wrong this is your money you want to be careful with what you're doing here oh i just shut my laptop i hope it didn't stop the recording no nope, it didn't stop the recording um i will stop the recording now though because i'm done with that um so hopefully, I hope you understand, like, yes, this is time consuming. And if you don't have the time, then I'm sorry about that. But I mean, you know full well, this is not a get rich quick scheme. You need to invest time in order to get anything positive out of it. So invest a bit of time, do it this way. And then maybe if you still want to use a tool, then use a tool. But if you're looking to save money or you rather buy a course instead of, instead of buying a tool, then this is a good way to do it. And we teach in our course how to do it this way and how to use a tool as well, because we want people to have the best of both worlds. All right. I mean, I, I was speaking to someone a couple of days ago and they were telling me they had zero money to invest. I was like, oh, that's that okay um and then they were like yeah i was like do you have any tools and they told me they had all the tools they had jungle scout helium 10 and amz scout i'm like oh no that's like 600 dollars alone i was like refund all your tools if you've got no money to invest refund all your tools and do it manually and then use that money for product for inventory right so again i hope this made sense i hope you liked this video if you did leave a comment down below if you want me to make more things like it if you want me to find some more off the cuff incredible products let me know in the comments give this video a like hope you loved it and i will see you in the next video